Okay, so uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, show you how to create the uh, uh, a curb stair. Okay, so two of my clients uh, send a query and then asking me how to create the uh, this curb stair. So this is one of the drawing, and then the other one is uh, is this. I think this one are are similar. Okay, so uh, they have this so. Uh, straight wall and then the curb wall and then on the curb wall on the curb wall as you can see here there will be a uh, curb stair and then going up okay so we're going to do this one in tecla structure so let us uh, open the tecla structure uh, what i did here is uh, i just create an <coughs> uh, a construction circle line and then some construction line here okay so that I can uh, this one will be the uh, guide for our uh, uh, curb uh, stair and curb wall so let's say for example I'm going to add a curb uh, or a wall and a curb wall so using the panel I can uh, try to okay so let's say I'm going to add this uh, this wall here yeah. So I can just simply change this one to left or uh, to right, and then uh, change the height of this wall. Let's say six meters for two-story, two-story structure. Okay, and then. Uh, Let's add uh, a curb wall as well. So using the same panel, so I can pick this point, uh, a point here, and then a point here. So I can just simply change the, uh, the jumper here to an arc point. Alright, so this one is something like our uh, <clears throat> curb panel. Okay, so uh, from here, um, we can now make it transparent. And then, uh, okay, if you want to cut this one, we can just simply use the, uh, uh, okay, I can, it's either I move this one here, and then I will just seal, simply trim this one using the uh, line cut. Yeah, but of course this is not the topic all about. The topic is uh, how to create the curb uh, uh, stair, right? So, uh, all right. So from here, uh, at the moment in uh, in the latest version, uh, Tecla, Tecla Structure 2021. Uh, there is a tool uh, here, concrete stair. You just simply type stair, and then you will find a concrete stair tool. So this one. So to uh, to use this one, actually, you just simply pick a point and then just drag that one to uh, uh, up, right? Okay. So you will notice here that. Uh, this one is a very good tool for uh, creating a stair. So just simply pick a two points, horizontal two points, and then that's it. You will get the stair here. All right. But of course, the question is how we are going to use the, this uh, tool to create the uh, uh, curb stair. All right. So it's the same tool, of course, but uh, this time you need to select the direct modification. Okay, select the direct modification, select the concrete stair, and then pick this point, all right? Okay, control P, pick this point, and then pick the start point of the uh, curb stair, or before before the second point, or before uh, picking the point. Okay, let, let's uh, repeat that one. So before picking the point, uh, pick the stair tool, and then here, before picking this point, make it sure that you select the contextual toolbar here, and then select the spiral stair here okay select the spiral stair so you will notice there is a straight stair l-shaped stair u-shaped stair and then spiral stair 
then this one is uh, an advanced stair so but uh, at, the, at this point of time I'm going to show you the spiral stair and the straight stair so select this spiral stair and pick the origin okay so here the default center there's an option here solid stair or platform stair so as you can see these are all these are the uh, options that's available so center or you can put left or right so let's say we choose the left and then pick the origin center point and then if you notice the second point I need you to we need to select this point so that this will be the start of our stair or spiral stair so pick this point and then the third point must be the height okay so the height let's say the height is 3000 okay so that one is the 3000 pick the 3000 there and there you go so you have now the spiral stair here okay. so in this case or at this point of time if you want the uh, to modify the the stair okay uh, actually i can simply uh, uh, hide this one for the meantime okay, so let's say hide this uh, element so that we can see the stair so using the direct modification as you notice here uh, if I select this one as you can see there's some values that you can uh, modify here let's say for example uh, here instead of 140 I can choose uh, the, the rise will be 200 so I'll just simply select this one and then type 200 that is the rise also this one is 200 okay and then here 200 so now the the rise will be 200 so uh, you can also change the the step here okay or the run so 280 you can change this one to 300 if you like so that one is the uh, 200 by 300 so if you notice that will be the uh, position of our spiral stair okay you can also change the uh, again if you select this one using the direct modification okay so you can even change the height from here you can type the value here let's say 3500 so that one will be 3500 but this time I will use a 3000 height of the spiral stair okay and then uh, we can add the landing there but uh, we need to put that one on the uh, level 2 so I will just simply uh, uh, open the level 2 plan at 3000 so this one is the plan at 3000 and then control P so as you can see here redraw and then let's say for example uh, I'm going to have a, a landing here or maybe if I if I want to uh, to uh, to have uh, another curve landing here or maybe the landing will be will will stop up to this point so what I will do is I'll go back to my concrete and then slab and then select the uh, 200 and uh, change the uh, uh, position depth behind okay or cast in situ so you can choose the color if you like so now one uh, two three four and then control and then pick this one perpendicular five and then middle bottom of your mouse oops no nope. so I just need to make this one straight All right, so now uh, you can select the handle and then change this one to arc point, modify, there you go. So you have now the landing there. And then after that, I can now add the another stair, a straight one using this and then pick the point and let's say up to here. All right. And 
that's it. You can change the to right, enter. Oh, sorry. That kind of change that one. Or maybe let's uh, try to change that one before adding. It seems that doesn't work here, so change it to right. Pick this point. Ah, sorry. Change it to left and pick this point and let's say this point. And there you go. So you have now the, uh, the curve. Oh, so I can just go back to my 3D model and this is how you create the uh, curb or spiral stair using the concrete stair tool. see inside so okay so it looks nice and hope this one uh, works and hope this helps thank you